in most cases, these interventions are run by organizations, by employers. Um, and um, the, it's much harder to fix work than it is to fix workers from that perspective. And so there's a bit of a, a default. This doesn't characterize all employers by any means. Um, there are progressive uh, employers out there, but I'd say they're in the minority, um, who when, when thinking about the problem of workplace mental health, think about their, what they can control and what their responsibility is first. This is what I recommend and would wish to see in an ideal world um, because, you know, that's meeting your OHS obligation to provide work that's psychologically safe to the extent feasible. You know, we can't, we don't live in a perfect world and that's not what's expected. Um, so for example, coppers will always get shot at. Um, sadly, until we ban guns, and it doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon. Um, and so, you know, you you have to address those things that are modifiable, the risks that are modifiable, and you can build up the protective factors that are modifiable. Um, but still, the default is to go to the worker, because it's much easier than changing the way you, the work is done. Or uh, in fundamental terms, you know, the the old arguments that used to be had about OHS um, going back. Uh, some, dec some decades, but also uh, probably manifesting in some ways here today, mostly around toxics was, well, if we, if we had to replace that, that uh, particular chemical in our process, that would be changing our business. And we're not going to change our business. This, you know. And so it really is OH&S is um, dealing with workplace mental health is about the way business is done as much as it is about an individual's mental health. And so what's required is both the, the work uh, needs to be targeted in prevention and control efforts and the worker as well. The worker has a role too. But sadly, um, uh, some years ago, when we did a, uh, a qualitative study around um, um, what organizations were, do, were doing to address workplace mental health uh, or job stress, the, the most immediate answer was, oh yeah, we have an EAP. And mm. EAPs are really valuable and a fantastic um, fantastic resource for workers to have when they're in a tight spot, whether it's from, whether it's from something that's related to work or something outside of work. Uh, but it's very much a responsive, not a preventive um, uh, element of, of a workplace mental health program. And you know it needs to be complemented by efforts to improve the quality of the work or make the work ideally mental health promoting 